What is up guys? We are facing Venom Goblin on expert mode with Spider Ham. So with the main scheme setup, we put the skies over near your permanent environment to play right here. Let's put the initial starting threat on the three main schemes. The active glider count will start off on midtown Manhattan. Venom Goblin comes in with steady and toughness. And then let's shuffle up the encounter deck here. Venom Goblin has a uh, one reviewed effect. Do two face down encounter cards to each player. So we get two face down encounter cards to start the game off. And then let's shuffle up our player deck here. And then draw up to our hand size of six. All right, let's see what we got. So we got this we want to move again. I think we want to go ahead and move again these five cards and then draw five more. We've got the Well of Life and Destiny, which is great. And then resources for the mansion. Um, we could also get down Spider-Man Peter Parker. I think the mansion is a better play here. Um, okay, let's go ahead and flip over here to Hero Form. And then we are a Web Warrior right here, so we can play the Web of Life and Destiny for free. Ignore this card's resource cost. If your identity has a Web Warrior trait, we do have the Web Warrior trait. When a web warrior allies play, we can draw one card. Then for uh, self confidence right here, double the number of resources this card generates if your identity has sustained less than five damage, and triple the resource instead if you have sustained no damage. We're at full hit points, so this is a triple resource. This would be one more for a total of four, so we can play Avengers Mansion. We can exhaust Avengers Mansion to draw a card. Oof. Um, okay, let's use. We're gonna save this because I don't know how much damage we're gonna take from this turn. Uh, let's use this as a triple resource so we can play Spider-Man Auto Octavius. And then, let's see, whenever he enters play, we can write up an upgrade control. We don't have any upgrades, so it doesn't matter. Let's have Auto for, for one. Um, do we want to take indirect? No, it's fine. He's going to Thor for one from Lower Manhattan. So we'll take a consequential damage. And Spider-Hand's going to Thor for two from Midtown Manhattan. And then that is going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. Let's keep this double in our hand here and draw back up to our hand size of five. Okay, so Venom Goblin's turn. He's going to add one threat to each one of the three main schemes. He is going to attack us with a base of three plus a boost card here, and I think we're going to have we're going to have auto block this attack. So boost of three plus a boost effect is to put in racing into play engage with you. So just doing three damage that will knock out Auto Octavius. When he's defeated, uh, actually, well, let's first do this because this is a force response. So after Venom Goblin activates against you, move the glider counter to the main scheme with the least threat and resolve a special. So we can choose because they're all equal. Let's put it on lower Manhattan and special to place one threat on each scheme. Then when all is defeated with the effect of the Web of Life and Destiny, we can draw one card because he is a Web Warrior that left play. And then now the Enraged Symbiote is going to attack us for two. So we're going to take it, drop it from 12 down to 10. And Spire Ham has an effect. Uh, response after Spire Ham takes any amount of damage, place one tune counter on him. And each tune counter on us can be spent as of a wild resource. Uh, okay, and then Venom Goblin's gonna deal with a face on counter card for a total of three encounter cards. First one is an assault. He's going to attack us. Let's take it to the face. So a base of three plus a boost of three, and it's indirect damage with a boost effect. That's fine. We're gonna put it all on ourselves. So we're gonna be taking six damage. That'll bring us from 10 down to four. And then we get a tune counter. He's going to activate Claim of Thrones, so it goes on a scheme of the least threat. Um, hmm. I think we're going to take a discard here. So we're going to move it over to Upper Manhattan. And the special is to discard one card from your hand. Uh, so let's discard Headpool here from our hand. Okay, next encounter card is I really want a hot dog. Exhaust. Uh, you may flip to Arch Eagle form and choose to either exhaust Peter Porker and remove one tune counter from him. To remove uh, this card from the game or you are stunned and then uh okay so i think we definitely are going to flip over here so we're gonna flip over to peter porker and then do we want to just get stunned it, it, you are stunned if you're already stunned this card gains surge and this card obligation i think we want to just take the stun because i want to exhaust to recover so let's take the stun here so we flipped over we took the stun and it doesn't surge because we aren't already stunned get discarded 
And then last encounter card is a symbiotic thrall with guard. If a symbiotic environment is played, he gains patrol. Okay, so it's back to our turn. Okay, looking pretty good here. Um, let's use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. And got a strength. Um, let's see, Captain America enters play. Give someone a high five. Okay, let's go ahead and exhaust to recover by five. That will bring us from four back up to nine. Our Ultra Eagle ability, after you uh, make a basic recovery like we just did, we can place one Toon Counter on uh, Peter Porker. Let's go ahead and flip over here back to Hero form now. And then since each Toon Counter can be spent as if it were a Wild Resource in Hero form, we're going to use one of them to generate a Wild Resource. This would be a double for a total of three, so we can play Captain America. Uh, as a response, after he enters play, give someone a high five. Place one Toon Counter on your identity. And then shuffle one spider ham card from your discard pile back into your deck. So, uh, spider ham card. Let's get the. Uh, I like ham it up, and I like the. I don't think so. Hmm. Let's get the ham it up. So we're gonna shuffle this guy back into our encounter deck here, or back to our player deck. I mean. All right, and then let's see here. So he does not have patrol uh, because there's no same environment, but this guy does have patrol. Then we want to play this and play a cartoon physics. Yeah, okay, so let's use, or if we want to be really greedy, we could just use our tune counters. Um, let's see, if we use, no, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so this would be three resources, so we can play the healing factor. Uh, whenever the player phase begins, we can exhaust this card and heal two damage from our identity. Let's use another Toon Counter to generate a wild resource so we can play Cartoon Physics. This is an upgrade that stays in play. When your identity will take any amount of damage, we can discard this card, wiggle your body, and prevent all but one of that damage. Captain America is going to swing for two and knock out the Enraged Symbiote, and he's going to take a Consequential. That will end our turn. Let's ready back up here. And then we're going to draw back up to our hand size of five. We've got the Daily Bugle and a Ham It Up. Okay. So it is Venom Goblin's turn. He's going to add one threat to each one of the three main schemes. So they each go up to three. Let's clean this up. Okay. Then, uh, let's see what's going to happen here. He is going to attack us with a base of three plus a boost. Let's take it to the face. So the boost effect says place one threat on each main scheme without the glider counter. So that is not good. So he's there's no boost icon, so he's only going to do 3 damage. Let's just take it to the face. That will bring us from 9 down to 6. So if we took damage, we can get a tune counter. So we have 3 tune counters now. Then he's going to activate Claim the Throne, so it goes on his game of least threat. It has to stay on Upper Manhattan. Uh, because this has a least threat, especially this card 1 card from her hand, which I don't want to do. But we gotta, I think... Hmm... I don't want to this card swing web pig and then get the advanced glider. But uh, you know what? It's okay. We're going to take that risk. Let's discard the swinging web pig here because other cards are just going to be a little bit better. Yeah, okay. And then uh, this guy's going to hit us for two. Now let's take it. We draw from six down to four and we get another tune counter because we took damage. And then a face iron counter card is violent tendencies. So attach the villain. After attach the villain takes any amount of damage from an attack, give him one face on boost card. If the attack does three or more, then we can discard this card. All right. So it's back to our turn. Let's use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card here. Drew into kid pool. Oh, I forgot. Before we use Avengers Mansion, when our turn begins, we use the healing factor. We saw it's a heal too. So we go from four back up to six. Then we still Avengers Mansion and draw like normal. Okay. Um, let's see. I want to use our tune counters. Um, there's no way for us to get rid of this symbiotic thrall right now. Um, okay, let's play. We're going to play Ham It Up. There's no patrol, right? So, Hero Action Thor, remove one threat from a scheme for each tune counter on Spire Him. We have four tune counters. Let's remove four threat from Lower Manhattan and clear this guy off. So, that will defeat that. And then, let's see here. Uh, now we want to spend our tune counters. I think I definitely want to flip down as well. So 
we for sure want the daily bugle. We don't need kid pool. And I want to get the War of the Great Web and Hobie here as a thing. I don't think we can do all of that. Um, if we get the daily bugle, we can do spider ham. Ah, we're going to be short. Um, hmm, okay, we're going to save. Which one are we going to not do? Uh, okay, first, let's have Captain America swing for two. I see Mary Thrall, and he's going to take a consequential damage. And then we have to choose between these three cards, which one we don't want. Um, I guess the War of the Great Web is the one we don't need right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this as two resources so we can play the daily uh, beagle. So this is, uh, we're going to use this card in Arch Eagle when we're in our Arch Eagle as the Arch Eagle action to get one Toon Counter on Peter Pork if we exhaust it. Then let's use three Toon Counters. So to generate three raw resources to play Spider-Man Holy Brown, and we're going to have him thwart uh, for two from Upper Manhattan. Bring us down to one. He's going to take two consequential damage. Okay, and then I think we're just going to, yeah, let's attack here to remove our stun. And then let's go ahead and flip down to Archer Eagle and use a daily Beagle to uh, get a Toon Counter here. And that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. And I think we're looking pretty good. We're going to draw back up to our hand size of six here. And we can get this triple resource back. Okay, well, this is a super duper good hand. So, Venom Goblin's turn, he's going to add one threat to each one of the three main schemes. So, these goes up one, this one goes up from four to five. And he's going to scheme on the current main scheme, which is Upper Manhattan, with a base of two plus a boost card here. If this activation is attacked, it's plus two boost icons and overkill. It's not an attack. So it's just going to be two scheme plus two is total four. Then he activates Clam the Throne, goes on scheme with the least threat. It goes on to lower Manhattan here. And the special here is to place one threat on each scheme. So they all go up one more. And then this one should be at five here. Okay, so we did that. And then this guy's going to scheme for one on the current main scheme, which is lower Manhattan. So this goes from two up to three. And our encounter card is webbed up, attach your identity. When your hero attack, this card webbed and set, and then you are stunned. Okay, so a little bit fortunate. And then it's going to end his turn, so it's back to our turn. We're going to healing factor when the player phase begins to heal, going from six back up to eight. Then we're going to use a daily beagle to get a tune counter. We're going to use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. And then we're going to exhaust to recover by five. That will bring us from eight. Back up to our full hit points of 12. When we make a basic recovery, we get a tune counter. Okay. Then, since we're at full hit points now of 12, this is now a triple resource again. We're going to use this to play our laser swords. So this doesn't do anything right now, but we could plus one attack for each bad icon in play. Right now, there are no bad icons. Okay. So we have the laser swords down. And then, then we want to get... Ghost Spider down, and then a Cartoon Physics. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's use this as a double resource when paying for a gray card. This would be one more resource for a total of three, so we can play Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider is going to swing for two and defeat the Simulator Thrall. She'll take a consequential damage. Uh, then let's go ahead and flip over here back to Hero Form. We're going to use a Toon Counter to generate a raw resource to play Cartoon Physics. So now we have another copy of this down. And I think I'm okay with the threat right now. Yeah, that's just going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. And we're looking really, really good. Keeping this in our hand, drawing back up to our hand size of five. We just need our, oh, we got Nick Fury. Okay. We're going to have a really big turn. And Hogwash. Um, okay. So Venom Goblin's turn. One threat to each one of the three main schemes. Okay. Then he's going to attack us with a base of three. He also gets a boost card here. We're going to have Captain Americat block. The boost is one, so four damage, knocking out Captain Americat. He gets defeated. And then we get a face on it, or in our first claim of throne. So we move the scheme the least threat. Stays on here, especially as we place one threat on each scheme. So they all go up one more. Then we get a face on encounter card which is Concussive Bombs. Attached to the villain, he gets two bomb counters. And next time he attacks, after the attack, we remove a bomb counter and exhaust one upgrade and one support with control. Okay, it's back to our turn. Uh, we don't need to exhaust it to heal. 
Uh, and we're looking fine. Okay, so let's uh, let's first use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. And then this would be four resource when paying for a gray card because the power in all of us is a double. So we can play Nick Fury. When Nick Fury enters play, choose one. Let's pick the one and draw three cards. So one, two, three. Okay, we got our organic webbing and a hammock up. So I think we want to play the hammock up first while we still have a bunch of tune counters. Okay, let's, yeah, we're going to play Ham It Up. Here, Action Thor, remove one Thor from the scheme for each tune counter on Spider Ham. We have three tune counters here. So let's take three threat. I think we're going to take it off of here. Okay, so we did that. And then, let's see, we're going to have, uh, hmm, we have a pretty good hand here. I think... Okay, let's have Nick Fury Thorpe for two from Upper Manhattan. He's going to take a Consequential Damage. And then we're going to have, let's see, let's have Ghost Spider. Uh, should she swing a Venom Goblin? Is it time to start doing some damage? Yeah, we could. Okay, let's have Ghost Spider swing for two at Venom Goblin. That will knock off his Tough Stats card. She would take a Consequential Damage. Spider Ham is going to Thorpe for two from Midtown Manhattan. And then he will take Consequential Damage and get defeated. Whenever he leaves play, he has an Interrupt. This card will top three cards of the Encounter deck. So one, two, three. And do damage to the villain equal to the amount of boost icons. So just two boost icons. Venom Goblin takes two damage. Our first damage in this game, bringing from 18 to 16. And that is not an attack, so nothing will happen with the Violent Tendencies. Then with the Web of Life, that's the sense of Web War Owl left play. We can draw one card here. We're going to cross the Spider-Verse. So I think we definitely want to get that down. Let's see, we're going to deck out. we got one more card here. So I think I want to play across the Spider-Verse. And then even though we have Nick Fury... Okay, these are the priorities. Across Spider-Verse, this and this. Uh, we Can we pay for everything? We have two tune counters. One and one. And then we can get Peter Parker out. And then I guess we'll stay in Hero Form if we do that. Um, okay, I think that's the play. Okay, so we're going to play, let's use two tune counters. Okay, let's just get our hand all cleaned up here. Okay, so we're going to use two tune counters to generate two wild resources. So we can play across the Spider-Verse. Here, we're actually exhaust the web where card control. Let's exhaust the web of life and destiny here. Then we can uh, search your discard box for web where ally put into play. Let's get Spider-Man Peter Parker. And we can put him straight into play here. Okay, and then that is it with that. And then let's go ahead and use this as two resources so we can play our organic webbing. We get plus one Thort now. And then we can uh, remove a tune counter from Spiderham and exhaust this card. I should put it over here. Uh, so we can uh, ready back up. So we don't need to do anything right now with it. Uh, let's put it like this. Okay, then let's use a tune counter to generate another wild resource. Second resource, so we can play stick to itiveness. So this card right here, we can exhaust this, spend a physical resource uh, to ready up your identity. All right. Then, let's see. Let's have Spider Ham attack. So whenever we attack, we will discard the web instead. You know, we get stunned. Then we're going to have Peter Parker for it for two. Uh, let's take it off of Lower Manhattan. We take, he takes a consequence of damage. He has a response after he attacks with Thor to ready up another web word. Let's ready up Spider Ham. We're going to attack again, which will remove our stun now. And then that's going to end our turn here. Yeah, we're going to ready back up. And all of our guys back up here. And we're going to draw back up to our hands as a 5, which decks us out. So we get a face down encounter card. I'm going to shuffle up our discard pile here. Back into the deck. And we're looking to get the kill shot during this next deck pass right here. So we're going to draw it back up to our hand size here. Whoops. Ah, got to shuffle again. Uh, okay. And then let me fix Ghost Spider's counters. Okay, and then we're going to draw it up to our hand size of 5 with Bob. So, okay. Okay, we got a I don't think so, which is actually really, really good to have right now. Okay, so it is Venom Goblin's turn. He's going to add... One threat to each one of the three main schemes. 
then he is going to attack us with a base of four plus a boost. We're going to have Nick Fury block his attack. So the boost is move the Glaricon to the main scheme with the most threat, and it was uh, place one threat on that scheme. So it goes on mid-time Manhattan, place one threat on there. Unfortunate. I prefer it to activate. Um, so we did that. And then he's just hitting for three. That will knock out Nick Fury. Nick Fury is defeated. Then he'll activate his uh, force response here. So first one here, move bond counter, exhaust and upgrade and support your control. Um, the upgrade is going to be cartoon physics. And the support, uh, let's do the daily beagle right now. Okay. And then actually, wait, let's do the web of life and destiny instead of daily beagle because we just use it across the spire verse. I don't know if we're going to get it again. Okay, so we did that. Claim and Throne goes on scheme the least threat. Resolve the special, place one threat on each scheme. Then we get a face on con card for a total of two here. So it's going to be a little bit rough. First one is spreading panic. Resolve the special ability of the scheme with the glider counter. And it surges. So another one threat on each scheme. And then it's going to surge. So we get another encounter card. So we're going to assault uh, the villain to actually give the villain one additional boost card for the activation. So he's going to hit us here. So two boost cards. Let's take it because we have a cartoon physics. So uh, the boost effect is to put this into play. And three boost icons plus three here plus one is going to be seven damage. We will use a cartoon physics. Discard the one that we exhausted here. When you take any amount of damage, discard this card, wiggle your body, then prevent all but one of that damage. So we only take one damage, bring it from 12 down to 11. Taking a damage gives us a two counter. And after he attacks, we'll activate this thing. So we remove the, the counter. Exhaust one upgrade, the cartoon physics, and they support the daily beagle this time. Okay, and now this is uh, discarded. Then it's going to activate claim the throne, so it goes on a scheme with the least threat, stays on here, special is one threat on each scheme. So we're actually not looking good with the threat right now. But let's see, this one is at, let's see the five, this one is at 11, this one's at 9, and then this one's at 4. Did I forget the threat threat here? I think I did. So I think this one should be at 5. Um, yeah, if two of them flip then we lose uh we do have it i don't think so so i think we might have to use it um so this guy's gonna let's see does he, does he attack us right now uh what was the boost card that we got and oh, we got swing and salt as a boost okay so this guy doesn't attack us okay unfortunate last encounter card caught off guard discard upgrade or support you control um do we i don't think so this a little bit of a waste of i don't think so but i don't think we have anything else in our hand that we want to play here um, hmm, discard an upgrade or support your control. I kind of like everything we have here. We could get rid of the healing factor. Yeah, it's fine. Let's get rid of the healing factor. We're not really taking much damage anyways. Okay. And then it's back to our turn. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's use Avengers Mansion. So we can draw a card. And we managed to survive all the uh, threat stuff. So that's good. We want to, we could play Bob. Have him get defeated. Do a bunch of authority and save this stuff in our hand here. Um, hmm. Of course, I don't have enough tune counters. I really need to. Um, Bob does have an acceleration. I think we want to take indirect right now. Okay, okay. Let's see here. So we have sustained less than five damage. So this is a double resource. We're going to use this double. So we can play Bob, Agent Hydra. Whenever he enters play, we can choose to do two damage to enemy or remove one threat from the scheme. Let's do two damage and knock out the enraged symbiote here. Okay, then we have plus one thwart with our organic webbing here. So let's go ahead and thwart for three and take it off of Midtown Manhattan. And then we're going to have Spider-Man Peter Parker thwart for two from Upper Manhattan. He's going to take a consequence of damage. He can ready us back up after he activates. Let's thwart for three from Midtown Manhattan here. Bring us down to five. And then let's see. Uh, I think we want to use a. So we're going to exhaust, stick to itiveness, spend a physical resource. Uh, let's use. I think we can use a self confidence here. Um, no, let's use the power in all of us as a wallet so it can be a physical resource so we can ready back up. Let's stick to itiveness. And then let's four for three again. We're going to take it off of Midtown Manhattan. Actually, no, we're going to take it off of... It's on a four. Yeah, we're going to take it off of Midtown Manhattan. So this will go down to two now. Bob's going to thwart for one from Upper Manhattan. Bob does not take Consequent Damage for attacks or thwart activations. 
And then, do we want to do anything else? I think that's kind of it here. And we need to flip down probably next turn. Um, that's fine. So we're going to stay here. We need to get more tune counters. So let's end our turn. We're going to ready back up. Okay, and then we're going to discard Passion Pig and the Self Confidence and draw back up to our hand size of five. Yeah, we're trying to get the cards that we need. Okay, so it is Venom Goblin's turn. He's going to add one threat to each scheme, except because of Bob, he's going to add two to the current active main scheme and then one to the other ones here. Okay, then he's going to attack us with a base of three plus a boost here. Um, I do want Bob to take this attack. Um, but same thing, I want to take it. It's okay. It's going to do. Okay, let's have Bob defend. Three plus three is going to be six damage. That knocks out Bob, Agent of Hydra. Then he activates Claim Throne, goes on Scheme the Least Threat right here. Take two indirect damage. Let's put them both on Spire Ham. So we drop from 11 down to nine. Since we took damage, we get a two encounter. Then we get a face on encounter card, which is a symbiotic thrall with guard. And if there's a symbiotic in play, he has patrol, but there isn't one. Okay, let's see here. We. What do we want to do? I really, really want to flip. Let's use Avengers Mansion first so we can draw a card. We've got a Petulant Pig. Um, is there any upgrade that we want to? Okay, we can play Auto. That can give us a very on stick to itiveness. That gives us. Hmm. I want to play the War of the Great Web. Um, if Peter activates, he's going to die. I don't want him to die right now. Uh, where? So what we're looking for is live dangerously, right? Because if we get live dangerously, then we can unleash the laser swords with all the bad icons there. Um, but we don't have enough tune counters right now. I do you want to get rid of the symbiotic thrall as well? Okay, let's use this as a resource so we can play the War of the Great Web. Attach the character with Spire Inside. Let's get the Spire Hand. When a Web Warrior ally allies split, we get plus one attack until the end of the phase. And then, do we need? We don't need the ready from Six Itiveness. So let's use this as a double resource when paying for a gray card. We can play Spire Man Auto Octavius. So we have him now. And then, um, hmm. we could swing in Web Pig. Let's see, this goes up to eight. This goes up to eight as well. That's fine. Uh, we're going to play a Swinging Web Pig. So do six damage to the enemy and then uh, confuse the enemy. So one Toon Counter here to generate one resource. Actually, we're going to use two Toon Counters to generate two resources. And the item thing so it's a third resource. So we can play the Swinging Web Pig. Six damage this will knock out this guy because he has guard. Okay, so we don't have our encounter card canceled, but he no longer has his thingy majigger. Uh, let's go ahead and thwart here for three because we have the laser swords. So I'm going to take that off of Midtown Manhattan. And then let's have Otto thwart here for one. He's going to take a consequential damage. That's going to end our turn. Uh, before we do it, we're going to flip over to Arch Eagle, Exhaust the Daily Beagle to get a Toon Counter. And then that's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. And all we need now is to live dangerously. Drawing back up to a hand size of six. Okay, no live damage to yet. Ah, where is it? Maybe I should have saved the um, the petulant pigs. Let's check our discard pile. I don't think yeah, we're out of petulant pigs here as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, Venom Goblin's turn. We've got the wooden hammer. He's gonna have one threat to each one of the three main schemes. So this one goes up to eight. These both go up one. He's gonna scheme a midtown Manhattan with a base of two plus a boost here of two. So he's scheming for a total of four plus one is gonna be five. So luckily it stays on here. He moves the scheme, the glider counter scheme we threat stays on Midtown Manhattan, especially to take two indirect. We're going to take a drop from nine down to seven. And then we don't get any tune counters in Alter Ego if we take damage, unfortunately. That's okay. Then we get a face iron counter card, which is swing and assault. Oh man. Uh, Alter Ego form. In, uh, when we're doing Alter Ego, we change the hero form and then the villain attacks you. Um, hmm. Let's. I could have auto block it. I. Could also just take this attack and flip again to Asha Ego uh, next turn to get more hand size. Um, okay, you know what? Let's have auto take it. I think that's the safer play. 
So it's going to be 3 plus 3, 6 damage. Uh, we can save the cartoon physics if we ever need it. That will knock out Spider-Man Auto Octavius. Then he uses Claim the Throne, goes on Steam Release Threat right here. Yeah, so we take 2 indirect damage with the special. That's great. Drawing from 7 down to 5, we get another Tomb Counter. And then with the Web of Life and Destiny, we can draw a card because Auto Left Play. We got Holy Ground. Okay, and then it's back to our turn. Let's use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. Uh, still not fit the thing. What's our deck looking like? Are we going to deck out yet? Do we draw six? It goes to Spider and Peter. Okay, so we can win next turn. That's what we're shooting for here. Okay, let's go ahead and use this as a double resource so we can play our huge wooden hammer. Uh, let's just put it over here. We get plus one attack, and then whenever we attack, we can exhaust it and remove two counts to get more attack. Then, um, hmm, let's play Ham It Up. We could play Obi Brown. Um, I think I want to recover and get these two counters up. So, okay, let's use this as three resources. So we can play Spider-Man Hobie Brown. Then we are going to Thor for three from Midtown Manhattan. That brings from five down to two again. Hobie Brown is going to Thor for two. That will clear this off, and he's going to take two consequential damage. Okay. Then we're going to uh, yeah, let's play Ham it up. Hero action Thor remove one threat from the scheme for each tomb counter on Spider Ham. So let's take two off of Upper Manhattan here. Yeah, I think we're fine with that. So we have two tomb counters. And then let's use Stick to Itiveness, spend a physical resource. Oh, uh, yeah, let's use a tomb counter here so we can ready back up here with that physical resource. And then I think I'm fine with the threat. Yeah, let's flip down here to Alter Ego. Exhaust recover by five. That brings from five back up to 10. And then we get a tune counter after making a base recovery. Exhaust the daily beagle to get a tune counter in an alter ego. And I don't think we need the genius here. Let's see, what's our deck looking like? We're drawing one, two, three, four, five, six, and three rewards we play. We draw three more cards. Yeah, let's discard the genius, ready back up. And then this would be Venom Goblin's last turn because we definitely will have the kill shot here. So drawing back up to our hand size of six, and we got the live dangerously here as well. Okay, so Venom Goblin's turn. He's gonna add one threat to each one of the three main schemes. Then he's gonna scheme on Midtown Manhattan with a base of two plus a boost card here of two. So he's scheming for a total of four plus one is gonna be five. Then he'll activate Claim the Throne. It stays on here, the special to take two indirect. We'll put them both on Peter Porker. So we draw from 10 down to eight. Then this encounter card here is master plan, uh, place four there on each side scheme. If there are none in play, we discard cards from the counter deck until we get a side scheme and then reveal that side scheme. So I think it's gonna be festering mass here, yeah. Okay, which is completely fine. So festering mass here will come in with five threat. While there are no other symbiote environments in play, this is considered a symbiote environment and acceleration, but it doesn't matter because we have the kill shot. Okay, so it is our turn here. We are going to Use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. And, um, okay. So, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna try to get the most damage that we can do in a single turn here. Um, we can ignore everything there. And then we have enough to take retaliate damage. Okay, let's exhaust Daily Beagle so we get a tune counter. And then we're gonna flip over here. The hero form, Spider Ham. And then, let's see, let's go ahead and play the, the Live Dangerously now. So, this is a player size team, comes in with three threat. And then, when this is in play, each identity gets a plus two hand size, but all the bad icons are in play the Crisis, um, Acceleration, Amplify, and Hazard. So, with that, with our Laser Swords, we now get plus four attack. We also get plus one more attack with our uh, huge wooden hammer. So we have four plus one is five plus one here is six. So Spire Ham right now has six attack. Um, okay, so we're going to have everyone replay, I think. What's our deck looking like? Two cards. Um, is there a swinging web pig? Wait, there's still, 
there's still a swing weapon in there? Oh, there is. There's only two, I think, in this card. Okay. So Ghostfire is going to swing for two at Venom Goblin. That will bring him from 16 down to 14. Then with his Fontensis, he gets a face down boost card. It did not do three more damage, so it doesn't get discarded. Ghostfire is going to take consequential damage. She gets defeated. Then we draw a card. Or her effect is when she leaves play, we search our deck for an identity specific event with a swing web pick and add to her hand. Check our deck, put it back here. Then with the web of life, this we can draw a card because she left play. So we get a card here. And then with the uh, War of the Great Web, we get plus one attack at the end of the phase. So we have seven attack. Let's use this to remember what our attack is. So we have six. So plus four with laser swords, plus one with the huge wooden hammer, plus this attack is going to be six. Then with the War of the Great Web, with the Ghostfire leaving play, we get plus one more attack. So we have seven attack right now. We deck out, so we shuffle up our discard pile here. And then put it back in. Uh, and then put it back in the deck, yeah. Okay. Then, uh, what is next here? So next we're going to have, I'm a Web Warriors. Uh, we're going to have Kobe Brown swing for one. That will bring Venom Gone from 14 down to 13. He gets a boost card with the Violent Tendencies. And then Hobie will take Consequence Damage, get defeated. When he's defeated, discard the top three cards of the encounter deck. One, two, three. Just one boost icon, so one damage on Venom Goblin. That'll bring it from 13 down to 12. We draw a card with effect the Web of Life. That's because the Web of Life left play. We get another plus one attack with effect the War of the Great Web. So we now have eight attack on Spider Hand here. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Are we doing anything with this? We can kill Hobie again, right, to get... No, we can't kill him again. Okay, that's fine. Um, next, we're going to have... We're going to just swing here for 8. And then we can use our huge wooden hammer. So when Sparham makes a basic attack, we can exhaust this, remove a tune counter, and he gets a uh, plus 2 for that attack and overkill. So we, we remove a tune counter, and then we get plus 2 for the attack. So we're swinging for 10 here. That will bring Venom Goblin from 12 down to two. And then uh, he gets another boost card with Von Intensities, but since we've got more than three gems with a single attack, this gets discarded now. Okay, then Spider-Man Peter Parker is going to swing for two. Um, that will bring Venom Goblin from two down to zero. And that will flip him over to his final stage right here, where he has Retaliate, Stalwart, and Toughness. And then, uh, yeah, and then when reviewed, do three face on conquest each player, so we get one encounter card. He decks out. I put this wrong, so this should be discarded like this. He decks out, so he plays a permanent rich token on Midtown Manhattan, the current main scheme. We shuffle up the encounter deck here, and it doesn't matter, but he's going to deal us a total of three face on encounter cards, so we get two more here. And let's move his boost cards over here, clean up a little bit, and then three encounter cards right here. Okay, so this is our eight attack. These are our two encounters. Spire Man Peter Parker's gonna take uh, the retaliate and he's gonna leave play. But his response after he attacks in Thor, so we can choose another Web Warrior character and ready up, ready it up, so we can ready up Spire Man. He gets defeated, we can draw a card with the effect of the Web of Life Destiny, and we get another plus one attack because Peter Parker left play. So we now have nine attack here. So we've got a crazy amount of attack, and Venom Goblin's gonna have um, 21 hit points here. Okay, and then do we have, uh, we don't have any piercer or anything. Um, that's fine. Oh, we have two swinging web picks. That is pretty crazy. Okay, let's use this as a double resource so we can play across the spider verse. Exhaust a web warrior card you control. Let's exhaust the web of life and destiny so we can get a web warrior ally from discard back into play. We're going to get Spider Man Peter Parker back into play here. And then it says here, we can, uh, actually, we're not going to use it. That's fine. Yeah, so. We've got Spider Man Peter Parker back into play again. He's going to swing for two, knock off the tough and Venom Goblin. He's going to take a retaliate and consequent consequential damage. Oh, wait, wait, before he does that, let's not do that yet because we want to get readied up um, again. So we're going to use, let's see, we're at eight hit points. This will be three resources. So we can play Captain America Cat. When he enters play, I'll give some high five. And then place a tune counter on Spider Ham and then shuffle a Spider Ham card from this card back into your deck. It doesn't matter. Let's just get a hand it up and put it back into our deck. And shuffle up. Okay. And then let's 
just put this over here when it's exhausted. Okay, I should just put the latest ones in front because it's pretty cool. Okay, so we have Captain America. He's going to swing for two now. This will knock off the Tough American Goblin. He's going to take a retaliate and a consequential damage. Okay, now Spire Ham is going to swing for nine. That's going to bring Venom Goblin from 21 down to 12. And then he's going to retaliate, hit us back for one. So we draw from eight down to seven. And then we get a two encounter after doing that, after taking the retaliate damage. Then Spider Man Peter Parker is going to swing for two. That will bring him from 12 down to 10. Peter Parker takes a retaliate consequence damage. He can ready us back up. We're going to swing again for nine. That will bring him from 10 down to one. He's going to take, he's going to retaliate hit us for one. We draw from seven down to six. We get a tune counter, and we're just going to see how much damage we can get here. Um, next, we're going to use this as three resources. So we can play a Swinging Web Pig. That's going to be right over here. That's going to be six damage. That will overkill him, bringing him down to zero. But let's just say he was alive. I don't see our max damage. So if he's alive, he's going to retaliate, hit his back for one, drop him six down to five, taking another tune counter. Then we're going to use three tune counters to play a second swinging web pig. Another six damage to him. He retires, hits us for one. We drop down to four, getting another tune counter. Then we're going to use stick to it uh, Exhaust his card, spend a physical resource, use a tune counter as a physical resource. So we're ready back up. Now we're going to swing for nine again, kill him again. He retires, hits us for one. We drop down to three, getting another tune counter. Then we're going to uh, exhaust our, our organic webbing, exhaust his card. You remove a tune count from Spire Ham to ready back up again. And we're going to swing for nine again. And uh, yeah, I was, I was just waiting for fun. I don't know how much damage that is, but I will watch it back and calculate it. But yeah, that was a super fun game of Spider Ham against Venom Goblin on expert mode.